In this video, I will show you how to synchronize audio and video in Shortcut. Watch to the end of this tutorial and I'll share with you some extra tips how to manage your audio and video files so that when it comes to synchronizing your audio and your video together, uh, you will be much easier. So let's dive straight into this video. Now, if you are new to my channel, my name is James and I help you to leverage tech so that you can create greater impact in your life. Now, I received this question from one of my viewers, TTT, asking, how do I sync audio and video? So this is why this tutorial and this is for you. If you have questions, please uh, put it in the comments and I will see if I could answer them. Now, unlike Adobe Premiere Pro, Shortcut doesn't have a function to automatically sync audio and video uh, clips in a shortcut. So you have to do it manually by eyeballing it and listening to it. It is actually not that difficult. I'm so going to share some tips towards the end of the video that will help you to synchronize this and some of the things that you can do as you record that will allow you to uh, synchronize your audio and video much easier. Alright, so let's dive straight into this tutorial. So this is my video track from my camera in video track number one. I'm going to drag my audio which was recorded separately onto the audio track. Okay. So let's move this here. I'm going to trim this clip. And this is where I clapped. So in order to synchronize, it's just a matter of aligning these clips together and make sure that there is no echo by listening to it. Now, if by any chance you forgot to make a clap or you don't use a clapper, then the way to do it is actually to just match your waveforms from your video and your audio. Now, I hope that you have actually recorded uh, your video in such a way that it has a reference track. If you don't have a reference track, then this will be much more difficult to uh, align your clips. So I've aligned this uh, basically as a rough guide. And so let's take a listen to it, whether this uh, matches. In this video, I will show you how to... So there is a little bit of echo. So I'm going to move this uh, clip slightly to the front. So as you can see, if I were to move my playhead, it's actually almost uh, matches the waveforms. All right, let's try this again. In this video, I will show you how to synchronize audio and video. So still a little bit of echo, which means it's still out of slightly out of sync. In this video, I will show you how a bit more. So you get the idea of how to synchronize this. In this video, I will show you how to synchronize audio and video. Perfect. So that's all about synchronizing audio and video in Shortcut. Now, some of the other tips and tricks include uh, making sure that number one, you do not erase this reference track. Now, once I'm done with this, normally I just mute this so it will be uh, exactly the same and I don't have to worry that the audio will get out of sync. If you have a clapper board, then the best thing is actually use that clapper board uh, like what you are seeing on screen. If you're using an audio digital recorder with your DSLR, try to synchronize their date and time before you use them. That way your files will have the same date and time stamp. That will help you to organize your files uh, better even before you bring them into your video editor. I hope that this video has helped you. The next time you're recording your video and audio separately, remember these steps. Make sure you have either a clapper board. If you don't have, then either clap your hands or what I normally do is I just snap my fingers, but snap your fingers, you can't really see things that well. Uh, the other thing is to make sure that you do not separate your audio and your video uh, track. You want to always have a reference track that's linked to your video camera so that anytime you want to sync it up, it is actually much simpler. Now, if you want to have more tutorials, check out my playlist here about using a shortcut. I also have links in the description below for my uh, official shortcut training course. There's a lot, of, a few hundred people have taken this course and found it very helpful to help you get started fast.